And if you'd like to see how I'm going to glam up this bottle of champagne and add some glitter embellishments, keep watching this video. Hey YouTube. Today I'm going to be doing a video embellishing this bottle of Bel Air Brut Gold. And I thought this bottle was just so cute. Um, I picked this up today um, from the liquor store. And as you can see, it has very nice packaging. It has the gold going on and a nice vanilla color behind this. And I am going to be adding some golds. So I have this very nice thick glitter gold flakes. And then I have this fine holographic gold glitter. And I just thought these would look so cute together. Today I went to Michael's and I picked up one of these um, empty glitter shakers. So I'm going to mix these two together. I'm going to be applying the glitter to the bottle with my Podge glue. And then I'll show you how I'm going to. Here what you see me doing is just adding the fine glitter. And I'm also going to mix in the glitter flakes and shake them up. And I purchased this little empty glitter shaker for $9.99. You can get a four pack of these from Michaels. I like so I went ahead and I poured out some Mod Podge into this little lid right here and I'm just gonna take a little dab of it and start to smooth it out on the bottle nice and gently and I did already wipe this bottle off with alcohol just in case I like to work on a clean surface so you can mask off if you want to I don't I just like to use a very very steady calm and still hand then I'll go ahead and sprinkle on some glitter This makeup brush, I'm telling you, it really comes in handy. So I'm just taking my time with my glue and my little sponge brush and just filling in the sections so I can go ahead and add the rest of the glitter. Make sure it's nice and flat as possible. This is already coming together just beautifully. Now you know it's quicker to do glitter, but if you was to bling this out with some gold rhinestones, that would just be crazy. It would take uh, three times as long or more, but that would be crazy. 
but I, I really do like glitter especially now that I feel like I found a better way to seal it and still hold on to that shine you'll see how I go ahead and, and seal it Okay, so I'm just doing some dusting here of the excess glitter and I'm just gonna do a couple little pinch of areas that I may have missed with this first layer of glitter. Just to make sure everything is correct and full and nice how it should be. So that's what I'm doing here. And there's like a little area that I peeped that I missed. I'm just gonna touch the brush on it very gently because when it's real wet still, so you just wanna pat things in place if you have to, because when the glitter is still wet, you could just pat it if it's thick and then just pour more glitter on top. And then I came across another little bitty area where the label is, right there. And I'm just gonna just sit a little bit of glue on there, add some more glitter, and then I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry. Go ahead and let this first coat of glitter dry. If I feel like it looks full enough, I'll just add, I'll just do the one coat. I think this looks really good. I really, really do like these thicker glitter flakes. They're very pretty. Let this dry and we'll be right back. Okay, so I decided to do a gentle second coat. There were just some itty bitty areas that I felt like needed to be a little fuller. And I'm not rubbing, I'm just doing like a blotting, um, patting. I'm just patting it in there because I don't want to knock any of the big glitter flakes off. So I'm just kind of patting that in, in some of the areas. Just to make sure it's extra full definitely optional if you don't think it needs a second coat then feel free to do one. as you can see I'm patting the glue on for my second layer I'm just giving it a nice little pat 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 because this glitter is thick and it's like chunky with the flakes on it and I didn't want to do a rubbing motion and then you just go ahead and you pour it right on look at that that is just so pretty by the way, if I didn't make it clear, this is the second layer of glitter that I'm adding. The first layer has already fully dried. dried. Now I'm going to be sealing this glitter with Tri-Art Liquid Glass. And I really like this product. So far it has not let me down. It keeps the glitter nice and sparkly and shiny to me. Better than my Podge in my opinion. So that's what I'm going to use. All right, take your time and just kind of dab on your liquid glass all over the bottle. You can add as many layers of this as you'd like to. I just did one layer and I let it fully, fully, fully dry. 
But as you see, I made sure that my brush was really soaked and I just carefully covered up all the glitter. We're going to let this liquid glass dry on this bottle of Bel Air and then we'll come back and see. Okay you guys, I went ahead and let this dry for a whole day. Look how sparkly and pretty this is. I feel like it doesn't look cloudy like it usually does to me in my opinion when I use my Podge to seal. This is such a great celebration gift for someone. I took it outside so you can see how the sunlight hits this with the holographic. Look at that. You can see twinkles of like oranges, greens, and pinks. This is so pretty. Now, take this to someone's birthday party and see the reaction that you get. Or if you're going to a bridal shower, this is a gift. I feel like you can get this for a man or a woman. It depends, you know. Everyone's different, but I think this would be a great hit if you took this to a housewarming party or something like that Even if they don't drink, I think this is cute to just have sitting out somewhere It's definitely a conversation piece. People will definitely talk about it. They'll ask you where you got it They'll ask can they take a picture of it? Everything Um, I don't even know what this stuff tastes like, but it's just so cute. I just love it I just like to look at these bottles so Thank you guys for watching this video Give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Share it on Facebook. Subscribe if you'd like to. If not, thanks for stopping by my channel. And be sure to check out my other playlist that I have with other wine glasses, glitter bottles, wine and liquor bottles, shorty bottles. I have quite a bit from you to look at if you want to find out how to do your own DIYs or, or special gifts. Check out those videos as well. Thanks again. Bye-bye.